What's up guys? We're gonna take a look at a few things that I got on eBay over the last week or so and maybe a couple of weeks actually at this point and then we are going to also maybe take a look at a couple of things that I didn't get that I wish I did. Now when it comes to uh, me picking things up off of eBay I do try to go for lots and I am targeting personally Cryptonation First Edition as I always say. If you do have patience and if you do know what it is that you want to collect, then there's ways to find things for cheap. Sometimes you pay a little more than, than you intended, but uh, just try to keep composed and uh, you can find some really good deals out there. So I think we have a range here, some that I didn't get the greatest deal on and then some that I really did. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. So this one here, now I paid $60 plus $4 shipping for these two promo cards, which I did, I wasn't going to have these at first, but then the news came out <clears throat> that uh, MetaZoo gave Channel Fireball the boot. And so that day that I got the news, I went and looked around and this seems to be what, what uh, they're selling for. Now I have seen, especially uh, this promo here, the original Fireball, I have seen it for a lot cheaper uh, via bid. If we're saying that each of these was 30 bucks, 32 bucks, I have seen that one closer to like 22, 23 bucks on an auction. The one that I think out of the three that they have, because they also have the wilderness one, I believe this head, headless horseman is the one that's uh, pretty pricey. It's hard to find that one for like less than like 35, 40 bucks. So did I get a steal on this? No, but I did jump the gun a little bit. I wanted to secure one of each. I thought maybe the price would hike with the news and I still believe that in time. So I just wanted to get a couple for myself, but uh, this may be an example of maybe I should have had a little more patience and then I could have gotten them cheaper. Um, but again, I was thinking we would see a hike, a little bit of a hike with the news. I know that the first one probably was printed into oblivion, but I wanted to secure myself these cards. I think I got a fair price based on going back and looking at the sold listings for these two cards combined. I think it was a fair price. So this next one's a little wonky in itself. Um, three first edition super alligators, reverse hollows. They're not a gold card or rare, if you would. Paid $5.25 for them. You do see the $5.50 shipping, but I did not pay for shipping. I got combined shipping here. Um, that's kind of like, you know, why I went for them. Two reasons. And the other one, I do not actually have this card in my binder. So it was a binder hit for me at the time. And I say at the time because I ended up getting it in another lot. It happens. I don't mind having it. It was less than $2 a piece um, because I did save on shipping because I, I had already bought a lot that had um, from the same seller. So I paid a little less than $2 per card. Is it a steal? No. Was it decent? I think it's I think it's fine, um, but I needed the card for my binder at the time, and that's kind of why I went for it. Wish I paid a little less because I do like to get good deals on things. Um, but there it is. So this one here uh, again, it's not the greatest deal, okay? But um, this was the same the same seller, so uh, we'll add the shipping to this purchase. So we'll put it like just under sixty bucks. Now it was for a lot of seven. Full Hollow First Edition RFX. They are on the reserve list. I am collecting First Edition, and some of the cards in First Edition I'm specifically kind of building up my collection on are stuff on the reserve list, which includes RFX. So I went ahead and picked them up. If you put everything together, I paid about seven or eight dollars per card, which again, in hindsight, not the best, but I believe that it's fair. Uh, I, you know what happens to uh, sometimes is there's several auctions by the same seller and then you plan on picking up, hopefully, because they're auctions, you're hopefully planning on picking up a group of them or multiple of them, which in this case I got two, but I think there was like a half a dozen to a dozen other auctions from the same seller and you hope you're going to get some of those at reasonable prices as well and save on the shipping and it doesn't always work out. I think this one turned out fair. The reason I'm showing these is because we're going to open them up, not because they're super steals. But we do have a couple here that are pretty good. So we're going to get a little juicier here. Now you see here, this one says Loveland Full Hollow 
Kickstarter. That's not true. It's not. It's, that's not in this. <clears throat> it's not the first time we've shown something like that. It's not in this. But what it is in this is 21 cards, first edition, Cryptid Nation. So, um, that's not what I meant to do. So, up here, we see the full hollows. Cuts off a little bit. And then down here, we got the reverse hollows. But we do have a list here. So, you can see that um, I believe we get 9 reverse hollows and 12 full hollows. So you got the Mermaid Scales, Lizard Man, two Eternal Snowflakes, Fire Crystal, Earth's Core, two Snallygasters, two Sinkhole Sams, two Slide Rock Bolters, all full hollows. Then you get a Snallygaster, two Fresno, Fresno Knight, Crawlers, Lizard Mans, Rock Bolter, Flatwoods. You get a Loveland Frogman though, which is pretty good. It's a reverse hollow, but it's pretty good. Space Penguins and Medium's Third Eye. So it was $60 with $5 shipping. Now for 12 full hollows, first edition, and another nine uh, reverse hollows, which included a Loveland Frogman and an artifact, I feel like that was a pretty good deal. So you get 21 total, so it's an average of $3 a card. Pretty good when more than half of them are full hollow. I thought this was a really good deal, but we have a better deal. So this is the last one that we'll be opening up that I got off of eBay. And this one, as you can see, is 30 first edition Kryptonation cards for $58 and $5 shipping. So $63 total. And um, I know it's you know more difficult to see, but basically the bottom row here are all the full hollows. One of them is the Kryptonation promo. And then you can see these there. And then there's three right here. Three artifacts of the same on the right. And then the in the second row up there, you got the Babe, the Blue Ox, and the Jersey Devil full hollows. So you get 12 full hollows, and then the rest are reverse hollows. And this is where I picked up a couple more sewer alligator reverse hollows. This was after I bought the, the other three. Probably wouldn't have bought the other three, right? Um, if I had already gotten this one, but I didn't. So I think this one was a really good deal. 63 bucks, and we got 30 cards. So pretty much an average of two dollars a card and we got you know what was that like 12 or 13 full hollows really good here's a list of them here i feel like this was the best you know this was the best lot we got i like to get lots like this less like the first couple i showed and more like these last two that i showed uh that's what i shoot for um but you know it doesn't always go as planned but like i said all of us, including myself, we need to practice patience and just have a goal set and know what we want to get. But enough of that. Let's take a look at a couple of auctions that ended that I did not get for one reason or another that I wish I did. One here that I'll point out is the uh, first edition Full Hollow Mothman. This one went for 171 bucks, free shipping. And to be honest, I was kind of looking for a Mothman because uh, both of my first edition Full Hollow Mothmans are PSAs, PSA graded. And um, I wanted they're tens, by the way. I wanted to get uh, one for the binder, so I've been kind of looking for one for the binder. And at 171 bucks, I would have picked this one up. That's actually the cheapest I've seen, I think. I think that's the cheapest I've seen. So uh, mostly I hang out on like eBay and TCG Player, not like Facebook groups and stuff like that. So I'm sure somebody's seen a cheaper one at some point, but I believe this is the cheapest I have seen. This one here was really good. I'm sad I missed this one. So for $26 plus $530 shipping, so we're looking at like $31. Bucks. You got uh, these eight full hollow first edition cards. Now the, the biggest one here is the Quetza Quatlas. So I just recently, as in like two days ago, I was watching one of these and I watched it go for about like $21 and maybe a couple dollars for shipping. And that was the Quetz by itself like two days ago. So it was like 22, 24 bucks. And that was for that alone. But in this one, you also get these other seven hollows. So I feel like this was this was a really good uh, pickup. Tell me what you guys think on this one. I don't think it's insane, but let me know what you guys think. It's actually, actually it is pretty good. Tell me what you guys think about this one. So this one was a first edition full hollow Mothman. First edition Full Hollow Chaos Crystal, first edition Full Hollow Frogman, 
and then also a growth to boot. First edition ball of growth. This one went for 237 with five dollar shipping. So um, I remember when Chaos Crystal. Now everything's down, of course. We just looked at a Mothman that I thought was good at 170. Um, but then also Chaos Crystal used to go for like up to 100 bucks. I think nowadays it's down to like around 50 or so. Uh, Frogman, I know Frogman's like 25 bucks. I think it's a pretty that was a pretty good deal. Uh, I I needed some of these for the finder. I need that Frogman for sure. I think it's just the Frogman, but I didn't end up picking this one up. But I think it was a pretty good deal. I kind of want to know what you guys think about this this uh, this little lot here. Is it uh, is it too much? Stick to getting the steals or? What do you guys feel about that? This is one I kind of wanted to pick up, uh, and I didn't. Uh, I think I I bid somebody up, but I I didn't end up snagging it. But I definitely bid this up to 260. That's what I find a lot is a lot of times I'll bid some of these up, and I in the end I'll get outbid. But I feel like if I wasn't there bidding, this guy would have stolen it for like under 200 dollars. That's how I feel sometimes with these. But this one is a master set with promos of Wilderness. And um, it comes with the binder itself, which is 30 bucks in itself. Comes with the promo as well. That came with the binder. That's 30 bucks in its own. You're getting the full set. It comes with two of the eggs. It comes with the Dallas-Fort Worth egg, which is like 40 bucks at least by itself. And then it comes with the Charlotte egg, which is also 40 bucks at least by itself. So between the binder and the two eggs, you're already over $100 in value. Putting the master set with other promos at, you know, 165 bucks, which is around the cost of two booster boxes. I feel I feel like this, this was insane to miss. It comes with a bunch of other uh, wilderness promos outside of the two eggs. And it comes with the, like, I, I remember it comes with the Walmart promo, the Oconto Dragons Walmart promo. It comes with, um, Another set of 12 cards. I forget the the promo set um, right here. But whatever he's trying to say there. Um, but it, it just it was it was an amazing amazing set that only went for 265 with the binder and everything and the eggs. I would have loved to have won this, but I was battling with somebody and uh, and they got it. So this is one more I want to show. It's a pricey one. But it, this is totally worth it, and it was a lot of money, so I couldn't pull the trigger on it. This was a buy it now for 750 bucks. It did have a best offer on it, and I was contemplating sending in a best offer, and somebody bought it while I was contemplating. It was freshly listed. I contacted the seller to see all that what was in it, but in the end, it's a first edition lot. Uh, Full hollow bulk, yada yada. So scope this out. So you get this nice big binder. You're getting all of this bulk. So like all of this, these these boxes full of the first edition bulk. You're getting a full first edition set. So you're getting a complete set minus Mothman and minus Power Up Red. So yeah, those are those are big cards for first edition and you're not getting those but <laughs> you're getting 2000 plus bulk of the uncommons and commons you're getting the alpha investments playmat the first one which is you know 20 30 bucks um and then um he asked you know any other questions contact him so here it is so here he says in addition to a complete First set of first edition, or I'm sorry, first edition Cryptid Nation, no mouth man or power up red. Full hollow set, bulk common uncommon lot, and alpha investments playmat. You'll receive the following. So these are like duplicates. On top of that set, right? And on top of all that bulk and everything. You can just read it through here. I'm not going to read all of these, but look at this. These are all reverse hollows, just a ton of reverse hollows. Um, I think it was something like, it was something like 70 two or something 72 reverse hollows and then it was something like 42 or something full hollows all of these full hollows absolutely crazy you're getting uh valentine's 
uh, stuff. You're getting Christmas promos, including, you know, first edition, New Year's celebration, and tree topper. You got, you know, a couple of these and a couple of theme decks. I, like, I don't know. Again, I want to know what you think. 750 bucks for all of this. Everything is Kryptonation First Edition. You're also getting like basically a full set minus that Mothman and that Power Up Red, which is both combined going to run you probably to 250, uh, depending on how it goes. But let me know what you think. Um, you know, I was looking into it when I messaged him about the, the, the list of everything. He said there was other interested buyers. He sent the list out to everybody. I went back to look and to contemplate sending like a best offer and it was gone already. Like by the time I even read the list he sent me, it was gone. So let me know what you guys think about that because that is super interesting. But uh, I've already taken up a ton of time. Let's open these things up and take a look. All right, we're over here with all the mail. Let's just start getting into it. At this point, I don't know which is which, but I'm kind of just going based on package size. So let's see what we got here. All right, so far so good. Can we just slide this out? We can. And these are the two promos. So we got uh, the Headless Horseman and the Channel Fireball promo. Basic Fireball. Both channels. So, cool deal. Oh, that's a bummer. Little, um... Little dot on the card there. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, not too big of a deal. That is the Headless Horseman one as well. What a bummer. But that's okay. Wanted to get some for my collection before the price, I believe goes up this is a little bonus one here a trade i made with a fellow buddy on youtube all right so let's take a look at what we got here i needed to finish my wilderness set and we were able to help each other out with some cards and make a deal so here we go. Token Sitter is one of the cards that I needed to complete. We're close to um, UFO, so I'm not looking to really open up much more Wilderness. And I opened an absolute crap load of Wilderness. And I just couldn't pull some of these cards, such as Wampus Cat. I have like 17 Reverse Hollows. Did not pull a full Hollow. I'm sure some people have like 17 of these, but it was I just couldn't do it. <laughs> he threw in this one uh, as a bonus. I thought it looked cool. It looks like it reminds me of Bowser from Mario, of course. Pretty cool. My first tops card. I have some sealed tops, but uh, this is my first, my one and only tops card. So thank you very much for that. And <laughs> nice of you. Then we got a full hollow Rocky. Could not pull one to save my life. And of course, the bigger one, the biggest one, is the snipe. I could not pull a snipe to save my life. We pulled like five or six Dragon of Akanto Falls. We pulled zero snipes, couldn't do it. Now we have it. These four cards here are going to complete my binder set. I do have everything else. But once I put these in my binder, I am done with Wilderness. Thank you very much. Metazoologist, check them out. Thank you for the trade, and you know, might be doing some trades in the future. Better than uh, paying outright if you can, you know, get some trades for something you have duplicates of. Why not? Why not? Wow, that's. Oh, there we go. Wow. Oh, there's more. Okay. All right. Get all this trash. 
Take a look. That's uh, three sewer alligators. Oh yeah, this is combined shipping. Okay, there we go. I forgot. Three sewer alligators. Okay. And then this is going to be that other lot I bought from the same gentleman. The first edition Uncle Sam. Nice. Holy gem. Medium's third eye. Forest God's Ember. Amber. It's coming out. Eternal Snowflake. Unending Fire Crystal. Andy Blood Ruby. I remember a, I don't remember an Uncle Sam. Is that a bonus? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're lagging here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll look into that later. Um, we already looked at these, so I got to go back and check. I thought it was like seven artifacts. I forget. I'm sure I'm tripping. All right, on to the next one. I think we did a good job about keeping the order. All right, we've got a Piazza bird. We got the full hollow Piazza bird. Metal Man, Salem's Witch. Those, well, there's two sewer alligators. We just got one now. Odag, Bunny Man. There's the other sewer alligator. Infield Monster, Joint Snake, Walking Sam, Space Penguins. Two reverse forest god emeralds. Three chupas. Another walking sand. We got the full hollows. We got the Jersey Devil. Is that Cryptid Nation promo in first edition? Flatwoods Monster. Babe the Blue Ox. Walking Sam, full hollow. Middleman of Alabama. Eternal Snowflake, Lightning Glass, 3x Black Hole Shards. All right. So that was like the runner up for the best deal I got. So that means this must be the big one. Feel like we're going to PSA. Here we go. Slide Rock Bolter. Lizard Man. Fresno. A couple of them. Snally Gaster. Flatwoods. There is the Frog Man. The full hollow Kickstarter frog man. Just kidding. Space penguins. Medium's third eye. Moving on to the full hollows. Slide rocks. Sinkhole Sams. Snallygasters. A lot of dupes, but doesn't matter. Earth's core. Unending fire crystal. Eternal snowflakes. Lizard man. And a mermaid scales. Nice, 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 nice. So that was quite, quite the mail day. That was uh, over the course of, over the course of a couple of weeks or more. 
um, with the holiday and everything and just uh, some some people you, when you buy cards from them they don't ship for like five or six days and then on top of that there was a holiday thrown in there and everything this is all stuff that I just accumulated over a couple of weeks but cool another mail day in the bag thanks you all for checking this out with me remember have patience and know what you want you can get some stuff for a pretty good price especially those last two see you guys on the next video